our guest today is, is my great friend, uh, Vicky Robertson. Uh, Vicky, say something about yourself. You will do much better than I do. I don't know about that. I'll try. Um, I'm a mum of four children who are my world. Um, I am the founder of Kaleidoscopic UK because I am a survivor of domestic abuse and violence as a child and adult. And that is obviously how we met. Um, and yeah, and I love music. So again, another mutual thing in common, my friend. Definitely music. Uh, that was the, the main reason why uh, we found each other. Uh, I don't even remember who found who, but anyway, it's great because you do a lot of amazing things. Obviously, you are mom of four children, but but and this is your like full time job but you have few uh, full time jobs if you like uh sometimes i think like like you know uh, how women like you can do this all things in just 24 hours so briefly tell us what you do um yes so, yeah i sometimes wonder myself how i fit stuff in but you know what i think women we just do we just get on and we do and we always find time um so obviously being the founder as i mentioned of kaleidoscopic uk so that is um a charity in process for survivors of domestic abuse and violence in the woken and borough and thames valley so <clears throat> There's lots of emails and collaborations, but obviously we also have lots of clients who are suffering from abuse or who have done. So we run support groups, which I run personally, which we've adapted now during COVID to do obviously via Zoom as well. Um, thank goodness we are living in an age of technology. Right. Um, we run a liberation program, which I do weekly as well. Um, on top of that, obviously, I'm homeschooling four children, which is interesting to say the least at the moment. Um, and yeah, so it's all of that sort of things. And then I obviously have a, a job as well. So working that. Um, and yes, yeah, so I also run a Berkshire Birthday Buddies, which helps local children um, and their parents get birthday presents because actually statistics prove that 38% of adults will go without food to give their children birthday presents. So I run that as well. And then I also help um, with resettling of refugees in our area, which I've done for the past five years. So all things very close to my heart, really. So yeah, I like to keep busy. <laughs> because sounds like women uh, empower women and girls uh, through music and music related activities. But not only, we uh, generally, we, we want women to feel in their best in the best right we want women to believe in themselves and you are a fantastic exam example of it and i think whatever you just said th this is massive empowerment and uh, and uh, i'm obviously I, I really admire you from the beginning uh, and then from the moment i i met you and uh, especially when you when you said that through all your life through all this story that uh, that I know because I asked you to to sort of pass on to me and we used that during our tour last year. We sort of, we, we were inspired by your story. And I know your story is, is quite a story, okay? But today, uh, instead of um, telling all, all that in, in the many moments, quite horrific story of your of domestic abuse that you went through, uh, we will talk how in certain moments music helped you because yeah we we sometimes women work with music uh, through music about music we speak stories of women through our songs real stories and uh, on the next ep on ep2 will be one of will, will be your story put in one song as well my dear yeah. yes uh, because I, I couldn't be not inspired by your story but tell me how music and the music related activities or maybe some songs or some situations with music in its core helped you to cope through uh, go uh, um, through some difficult moments in your life and cope with all you went through from the youngest age that i can remember and i could you know looking back now 41 i don't know what age that was but from very young and i love to sing and dance and it just gave me an outlet um, and as you know my story so i suffered childhood abuse like you know from the day dot basically so it became my sort of go-to if you like to feel good so i used it as a crux actually um and I still do, you know, but for so many different moments in my life, you know, now I dance around the kitchen with my children and I have music for that. Or, you know, if I'm just wanting 15 minutes, you know, time out from homeschooling and all the other five jobs that I've got, um, it's, it's an escapism as well. And I, I, yeah, meeting you was fantastic in knowing the things that you're doing. But yeah, for me, music has been throughout my whole life. 
lost my savior. It really, really has. And in those dark moments, it helped me lift out of those or, you know, or helped me bring that emotion out. You know, I was always told that, um, you know, strong women don't cry and called Vicky victim if I ever cried. So I cried twice in like 13 years. But obviously after that 13 years, there was a big release. And actually for me, there was an album that Kelly Clarkson did and every song written on that album I could relate to as a victim slash survivor of abuse. And it really helped me to process actually. And, and then I can, you know, get back into the, and I've got such an eclectic, um, love of music it's like of all genres so it depends on what mood i'm in of what i listen to and my children are exactly the same you know they all love music but i do believe it's a really helpful healing tool Speak to me. You said when you were a child, uh, do you remember uh, w w some sort of situations or songs or, or pieces of music that you went back and how did you feel about it? Yeah, definitely. So as, do you know what? I don't actually know the title of the song, but when Brilliant. I was in primary school, um, it, was, it was about, it's about friends and what would you do if I sang out of key? Would you stand up and walk out on me? I don't know if you know that song. Of um, course. Okay, so I don't even know what the name is or the guy that sang it. I couldn't off the top of my head. I, and that's the one thing I'm rubbish with. My memory is crap. So you mean you mean that's the song of the Beatles? How would you do this? Oh, well, there you go. See? Yes, but I think somebody else had covered it. So when I was a kid. Uh, that um, was a Joe Cocker. Joe Cocker covered it. There you go. Okay, that's so it. for me, that song and hit the way he did it, it just, yeah, for me, it, I don't know. It just, it, it sparked something in me. Um, and it made me feel secure. Um, and then I kind of, you know, I'm a, ch I'm a child, so I'm not really, you know, analysing it. But looking back, that's where my love started, really. And then, yeah, it's sort of, um, I think another song as early teens or, or, um, was Black Velvet. That, that's one of my all-time favourite songs. Alana um, Miles. Alana yeah. Miles. Yes. And I still sing it at karaoke now because I absolutely love it. Um, but from, yeah, I would just, but I would play this song on repeat and I do that. So even now, if there's a song I love, you know, even our song, um, I will repeat it and play it over and over again because I just can never get bored of it. I absolutely love it. So after listening to it, then I would, and you if, if I'm trying to make myself feel better and healing by music, if someone was listening to me from my neighbor, for example, they'd be like, what is she doing? I'll start with like the really sad, the sad emotive sort of music to get it out there. And then I'll progress to like, you know, through all the genres to like really happy, like house or pop. Do you know what I mean? So they'll be like, what's going on in that house? Like she's got, but for me, it's like a, a journey. That is nearly like taking different pills for different days, right? 
yeah definitely but i can do this all within sort of an hour's time slot so my neighbors must think i'm absolutely mad like what is she doing like if i'm in that sort of you know low mood or you know whatever it might be i have to transition that way because if i put on that happy tune i'll get annoyed with it and i'll switch it off so you're right it is like a whole journey to get to that point and i'm when i'm low i'm not gonna listen happy happy tracks because it's not gonna work for me right nah. so you kind of you fell intuitively you you grabbed first the songs that tuned into your lower mood and then you were gradually going up and up and up and up that's yeah. brilliant you just did music therapy to yourself since you were <laughs> a child very smart and very very clever and just right so uh so that it's actually what scientifically is proven that this wow. is the way you do your music therapy right if i could have changed the story you would never exist every time you said you're sorry something died inside me you told me that you're all i've got and me When you were uh, when you were in your that bad long lasting relationship that or, 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 uh, your your story that I know your story is about and uh, yeah. the what what sort of moments you uh, you uh, you were going for music and what kind of pieces of music did you listen I'm just I'm just curious how did it go for you when you were in that difficult time in your life So I wasn't allowed to listen to music. You weren't because allowed to listen to no. music when you were in the no. abusive relationship no i was not allowed and if i tried to put something on in the car it would be switched to his and it was always very dark so i love pink floyd but it, it doesn't bring back some happy memories for me but it um yeah i was never it was only like his music that was allowed you know mine was put down or whatever else you know it's crap it's this that and the other um and to a point because i think looking back you knew it made me happy they didn't want that for me um but there were moments I was allowed when he said it was allowed. Um, but Pink, you know, when he wasn't around, obviously, there were times where I could could do that. So Pink, for me, I've always been a huge fan, you know, it's, it's from her early days right up to now. I think she's a fantastic artist. And Absolutely. I really yeah. identified with her and in her music. And, you know, obviously family fortunes a great song and it, it reminded me of my childhood and helped me process that a little bit actually so for me i kind of grew up with her through that and identified with her because she spoke to me on a whole other level just it's not just words it's the feeling it's the motion you know yep. you can feel that emotion behind that song the same with some of kelly clark's and stuff you know standing in the way of control used to be a song that i would blare out when he was he had gone to work or i had five minutes where i wasn't at work and i just needed to release and just that's how i felt like you know um you 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 found a, a pieces of your story a bits of your story of your emotions in the songs right absolutely and they became just kind of yours. Is that true? Yeah. 
yeah absolutely definitely and there would be like go-to ones that i would use that i knew that like standing in the way of control it's such a emotive piece you know um and how i felt you know i felt downtrodden i felt controlled i couldn't say it because it was it's not that simple as you know um but i could say it when he wasn't around and get those emotions out and pretend that i could say do you know what i mean Every song we all do that we can all find pieces that relate to us uh, and, and artists is this something that you always been dreaming about thinking about to do in terms of music because we know okay you listen you relate to you songs uh, speaks your stories as well or bits of your stories but is there anything you would like to maybe learn about music i don't know maybe i don't know maybe play guitar I'd love to play guitar. So as a child, I had piano lessons, but I wasn't very good. <laughs> Who said that? See, this is, this is another thing. Who said that, that you weren't very good? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy well, it? No, he used to hit my, hit my um, hands with the ruler if I got like a, a note wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty old school. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best learning experience. But yeah, I've always wanted to learn the guitar. I don't want anyone to stop enjoying things that they do just because someone said that, that they are not good. I mean, what does it mean, not good? Good enough is when you enjoy it, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're right. And yeah, I mean, looking back, that's what we tell everybody as well, isn't it? You know, don't, it's how you feel and how you want to do it. And yeah. How would you see music uh, role uh, uh, in, in the places you work, whether uh, at your charity or with refugees, right? Would you see uh, somehow music playing a healing role somewhere around there? Yeah, absolutely. Com completely, you know. Any ideas? <laughs> I'm a big believer in all of that so for for me like with the charity as you know that's how you know how we came to meet wasn't it, it was I, I think I approached you and said you know would you come and play because we were doing the Guinness World Record attempt um, for you know the most amount of people singing at one time from different countries which went really well sadly we didn't get the record but so it fits in that way I think and at every convention or conference I do either you're there or there's other you know we have other artists as well because I think it's really important that we use music as a tool um in our, in our liberation program that we teach we have music as a tool you know there is music there we give cds as well because I am a big believer that it is a, it's really helpful along anyone's healing journey um so we give CDs as part of the, we call it like a pamper package at the end. It's like a heal, you know, survive and thrive pack, we call it. So that, you know, it feeds into that. Um, it's everywhere, you know, any event we do, we have music on. Vicky, it was absolute pleasure to have you. And uh, I really admire you for everything you do. And, um, uh, and obviously I'm very, very lucky person and sounds like women that we, we managed to connect. And it's just, uh, as ever, this kind of thing's always meant to be. 
right? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. It was inevitable. It's fate. And, you know, and everything you, you say about me, I reiterate back to you, my friends, you know, you're doing, you know, fabulous things. And I, you know, we are honored to be a part of through the music it can help you find your voice and we all struggle to find our own but it really really can help so i hope it does reach out to you and on that you should i don't know if you've seen the trolls film but you should definitely watch that because there is a scene in that film that is one of my daughter's favorite films and they're all sad and they're trudging along but they're singing a sad song and then this troll brightens up the world with her music so <clears throat> you definitely need to watch that i'm gonna movie. watch it I'm